Folks, I'm going to do a quick video to show you how to remap a motor output in CleanFlight using the new mmix functionality that is in CleanFlight 1.10 and beyond. Uh, this is in response to a question on RC groups, uh, and I figured as long as I was going to answer the question once, I may as well answer it, make a video, and then have something to refer to the next time somebody adds, asks the question. Okay, so here's the first thing you're going to do. The first thing you need to do is you need to load a custom mix that matches the presumably quad X mix that you're already using. So if I type M mix right now, there's no custom mix loaded. So I'm going to type M mix load quad X, and that will load the quad X mixer in as a custom mix. So this is the exact same mixer that is normally used anytime that you're using the quad X mix, but now it's a custom mix instead. First thing I want you to notice is that the motor lines are not numbered 1, 2, 3, 4. They're numbered 0, 1, 2, 3. This is a thing that programmers do to confuse normal people, uh, and, and don't let that confuse you. Motor number 1 is numbered 0 here, and so on and so on. They're all off by 1. So when we talk about header number 5, we're actually going to be using number 4 here internally. Okay? Try, to, try not to let that confuse you. Okay, so let's say that we want to copy uh, motor number two over to header number six. Okay, let me show you how to do that. First thing you're going to do is you're going to find the line that you want to copy from. And since we're looking for motor number two, that's going to be in line number one, off by one, remember, subtract one. And we're going to type M mix. Then we're going to type the motor number or the header number that we're going to. So this is header number 6, so we're going to subtract 1 and type a 5. That's number 5. And then we're going to just copy the line here from the motor that we're copying from. Okay, so we're going to copy 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1. All right, so I've just taken, I'm going from here to number 5. I've copied these values down, and I hit Enter, and nothing happened. Do you see that it's not there? Why is it not there? The reason it's not there is that you're not allowed to skip motor numbers. We've got 0, 1, 2, and 3, but no 4, and then 5. CleanFlight doesn't let you skip motor numbers. I don't know why that is. So what we need to do is we need to create a dummy line for number 4 so that the, there doesn't appear to be a skip. And here's how you do that. You type mmix 4, 0, 0, 0, 0. This isn't going to work, but I want, that's what you would think you would do. It's not going to work. See, it did, see, you see that it didn't work? For whatever reason, the right way to do this is to do mmix, the motor number, the throttle parameter has to be non-zero, and then we're going to have roll, pitch, and yaw be zeroed out. And that's going to create a dummy line that doesn't do anything, just sits there and holds the place. And now you'll notice that I put that dummy line in, now line number five is present. So you cannot have any, any skips in the numbering. Okay? And now we've copied motor header number two, which is line number one, down to motor header number six, which is line number five. The last thing that you need to do then is you need to zero out the one that you copied from, the one that you're not using anymore. So we're getting rid of motor header number two, which is line number one. I'm going to zero that out by doing mmix. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Oh, see, I made that mistake again. That's not how you zero out a line. I did that on purpose to re rub, it, rub it in for you. We need to zero that line out by doing mmix1, because it's, it's line number 1. The throttle parameter has to be 1, and then the roll, pitch, and yaw parameters are all 0. Now everything is fine. Everything is how we need it to be. Motor header number 1 is at the default. Motor header number 2 is zeroed out. Motor headers numbers 3 and 4 are at the defaults. And then motor header number four or 5 is zeroed out as a dummy line. And then the last one, motor header number 6, has been copied from motor header number 2. Okay? That's how you do it. There's one more thing you need to do. Oh, oh, if you save and if you, if you try to go fly right now, it's not going to work. There's one more thing you need to do. What mixer am I using right now? I'm still using the Quad X mixer. So I've created this custom motor mix, but I'm not actually using it. The last thing you have to do is type mixer custom. Aha, now your M mix takes effect. 
Otherwise, it's just sitting there not doing anything, just looking good. Okay, so then save and you're done. All right, that's how you do it. Hope that's helpful and happy flying.